everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I have a really fun, long video for you today. It's long because I'm going to feature a massive try-on of 11 main attraction styles. So we're gonna go through those today as a part of my affordable series, everything you wanna know about the brand and 11 different styles coming up. that the main attraction brand is made by Henry Margu. I have had that question quite a bit. Now Henry Margu stands for amazing quality. Their professional line, their naturally yours line is just impeccably done. So I would urge you to go out and check out the main Henry Margu lines for sure. Now the main attraction lines also have a lot of great qualities to them. It's a completely separate line. So even though some of the styles and colors may out of the main attraction line, might resemble that of the other Henry Margu products. They're completely, uh, they're completely separate and really do stand on their own. I like it for my affordable series because you get a lot of really nice features on these styles. The quality is there. A really cute, feminine, easy to wear styles at a very nice price point. So in this showcase, I'm gonna review the fibers. We're gonna take a look at permatease, we're gonna talk about the caps on these a little bit and just the overall quality and effect of all of these styles. I think there's some really nice values in this line, so that's why I'm gonna present them to you today. Now, all of these wigs I did not buy at once. I've been accumulating these over the course of maybe two years. I'm pretty sure it's been two years. So I've sort of accumulated them over time and I've reviewed several of them individually, but it's really nice to see them all in one place. I've got a variety of colors to show you. So let's get started. So just a little word of warning about the caps. The caps fit a little bit large on me. I have to make a considerable adjustment to get them to fit securely my petite average circumference. Um, so if you are very much average, this should be a breeze. If you've got a little bit of a, a larger circumference in terms of maybe an average large, you should also get a nice comfortable fit. If you're petite, petite average, you're really gonna have to cinch in the adjusters to get a good fit. Yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna show you 11 styles today, all of which are sitting back here in the audience just waiting for their, their time in the spotlight, all with the exception of this one here. So everything else you see is a main attraction style and I am going to try it on today. What I'm wearing now is the main attractions Hollywood. This is one of my favorite main attraction styles, so I thought I would go ahead and lead with this one. It, it's absolutely worth every penny that you pay for this. I'll tell you why. First of all, it's really easy to see that it's just cute as a button. It's very feminine. It has all of this choppy, beachy wave. It looks like a million bucks, but costs less than $150. I think as of the date of this filming, it's right around $135 for this style. Um, I think it's worth every penny. First of all, I mentioned that I love the style and how this is done. It has a beautiful like 6.75 inch bang area that just feathers right back into the style and stays out of the face. This is one of those longer styles that to me are very easy to wear. It features a lace front. Yes, you get a lace front for that price. And the lace fronts that I have seen on the samples that I've had are impeccable. So it's a temple to temple lace front, very fine knotting there. Then I should say this is the color Butternut. Butternut is a combination of gold blonde. So you have a darker gold blonde, a lighter, more pale gold blonde running through it. And then all of that is on a medium brown root. So a lot of these gold blondes are really a little cooler of a gold, so more coming into wheat or beige in my opinion. So this really isn't your glaring gold. Uh, gold wig, although it is warm in tone. 
So the main attraction fibers on the, the styles that I have seen uh, really are very nice. They're nice, soft, silky fiber, just an average denier. And they're sometimes a little bit shiny, especially on the blondes, like most synthetic styles are. None of this line is heat friendly. A lot of times with an affordable brand, um, you know, you have to sacrifice certain things. But with this brand, I think you can really have it all and be very happy with the price and the performance of these wigs. Now I have not worn this wig long enough to tell you how these fibers wear over time. But I can tell you just based on how they feel and how they perform and the many times that I've worn them, that I feel like the performance is gonna be very typical for a non-heat friendly synthetic style of this length. Now on this style, there is a lot of permatees. Um, so you're gonna find most of your permatees on the top and at the crown, heavy at the temple back, and heavy at the nape here. So, but you can see where it doesn't look bulbous. Uh, it's just enough permatees to sort of prop up this style. You want big glamorous hair, you got it with Hollywood. And it's gonna stay lifted and propped because of that permatease. I think I'll go ahead and try on the pecan. So here I am wearing the Hollywood by Main Attraction in the color Pecan. Pecan, Pecan, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> um, this is a beautiful light ash brown and then it's heavily highlighted with a gold blonde. Um, I, even though there's an ash brown base on this, I really feel like it's neutral to warm in tone because those gold blonde highlights really warm that up. This is not a rooted shade like the Butternut. This is just a, a highly dynamic highlighted color. And even the tips are highlighted here. And that's beautiful on those curls. So next I'm gonna show you another long glamorous one um, in that main attraction line in a beautiful deep brunette. So how about this for a dark brunette? This is Main Attraction's style called Glamour in the color Hazelnut. I was shocked I, when I put this on and I did a double take in the mirror because it's just so different for me. And although I love lots of different colors on me, I'm just still really a, a blonde at heart and probably always will be, but isn't it fun to just shake it up? This hazelnut is just gorgeous. It's a dark, rich brown. And then it's highlighted with, with what they call a strawberry, which to me is a, a light auburn. And those highlights just really pop against this dark brown. Look at the richness of it. It's just unbelievably beautiful. So let's talk about glamour. It's just a beautiful long shag style lots and lots of layers. That first layer is so attractive at five and a quarter. It just kind of runs right over the eyebrow and back into the style. It stays out of the way. You can have multiple parting options on this one. Overall, we're looking at about 18 inches, maybe just a tad shorter than the Hollywood, but very similar. And Hollywood has those beautiful, glamorous kind of beachy waves. This is just more of a flippy wave, which is perfect, perfect for this style design. Look at this. You can just kind of pump up the volume. Now this one is around $125 um, according to the date of this filming. So I mean, very, very affordable glam could be for every day or just special occasions. This is also a nice one where if you want several different colors, it's very affordable to have those options on hand. Glamour is just a basic cap design. Now there's a lot of permatease on Glamour and because this is such a dark color, I'm not really sensing the appearance of permatease from the top and I just wanna get in there and just, don't you? <laughs> You can get some really nice ear tucks. The density is just an average to, to, to almost light density, feathery, light, 
fine dryer fibers. It would look great in like a partial updo. Wouldn't it? Isn't that cute? So now let's go just a bit shorter. I'm gonna show you next the main attractions Broadway that I have in two colors. They're right down here behind me. So this is Broadway by main attraction and this one is in the color latte let's take a look at this color real quick first another beautiful brunette it's sort of a medium to dark chocolate brown and then it has uh, some caramel some medium to light caramel highlights now on this one the highlight distribution is a little more obvious it's a little more chunky and dramatic and i think it's perfect with this curly style not rooted, but very dynamic. So Broadway is that short to mid-length, uh, curly, voluminous bob style cut. And it has about a five to five and a quarter inch bang. And it kind of feathers right back in. Now when this first comes out of the box, those bangs are just hanging down in the eyes. So you want to work with it to get it into position uh, out of the eyes so that it's easy and manageable. The length is right around 12 to 13 inches overall. And this is a basic cap style. So there is, uh, there's no lace or monofilament here. The big trademark here is the curl. This is big, abundant, wavy curl all the way around. There's big volume. There's a big density on this style and it has nice swingy movement. So the big surprise here though is that it's not extreme on permatees. The last two styles that I showed you, the Hollywood and the Glamour, both had a lot more permatees than this one. And this is one I think you should probably, you would expect it to have more permatees because it's a basic cap and it's got all this volume. But really it's very smartly done because the volume here is coming from the curl pattern, those waves, those big bouncy waves. So it's, it's beautiful. It kind of has a smooth crown until you get to about halfway down and then it blossoms into the curl. You can part it wherever you want. So if you're craving a style like this, as of the date of this filming, the price was around $125. So this is Broadway in the color Nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of my favorite colors in that main attraction line. There's a lot going on in Nutmeg. So it starts with a medium golden brown. You'll see lots of gold blonde highlights in there. You'll see some, uh, some strawberry and then some light auburn. It's very dynamic. It just looks sun gilded. It's warm in tone. One of the short styles in that main attraction line it's called allure it's a cute little polished short angled bob style cut absolutely adorable it's in the color praline now praline is a dark brunette and then it's highlighted with a medium gold blonde those highlights are really bold next to this dark brunette color isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a little polished bob style. One thing I wanna make sure that I tell you about this because a couple of you have actually asked is that is there an affordable short style out there with very little permatees? And I believe that this is it. So there's very little permatees on Allure, just a thin coating of permatees all over something like you might find in the hairdo line. Uh, or Tony Bratton, something like that. Very low on permatees, but enough to cover wefts and so forth. Now this is a dark color, so I can't speak for a light, a light unrooted color on this. But isn't the shape of it just so cute? Now because it is very light on permatees, you're not going to get a ton of lift and volume out of this style. But you just have to 
Just get in there and just fluff it a little bit at the root to bring out all of these beautiful ends. Very fine dry fibers. As you can tell, there's a little bit of silicone on there to give them a little bit of shine uh, right here. I don't know if you can notice on camera. Um, but each of the fibers are very fine and light. This is a light density, a uh, very feathery texture. So what we're looking at in terms of dimensions on Allure is around five and a half inches on that front piece. There's a longer layer here on the sides. Right around two and a quarter inches at the nape. It seems to be ample at the nape. And as you can imagine, it's really lightweight. Feels very light on. A nice, cute, practical style for everyday wear. So I'm back wearing Charisma. It's one of the short shaggy styles in that main attraction line. Again, no identity crisis here. This is a true quintessential voluminous shag style cut. Then the color apricot. Apricot is just a sort of a medium to light auburn strawberry color. And then it has a highlight of a dark gold blonde. So it's a very warm shade. It's not rooted, but it is fairly dynamic, I would say. So if you like some of those softer red colors, I think this apricot would be a great choice. And again, you have to love a shag to love charisma. Uh, that front piece around four, four and a quarter, and it can be parted wherever you want, but I've just got it parted a little bit left of center here. The first thing I do when I put on a shag is tuck. I don't know why. <laughs> I think because shags tend to have a lot of volume on the sides, and I don't like that for myself. So I just automatically tuck it and that just really reduces that volume, sculpts the style into something that is a little uh, more attractive for me. Um, but you've got some layers in the back and they kind of head off that crown and sweep forward like a true shag. It's around 11 to 12 inches overall and you'll see little flippy layers all over. This is just a basic cap. And as of the date of this filming, I think it's around $115 retail. So you're gonna have a little bit of longer layers here on the top. So you can really pump up the volume on this if you want. You can move those layers around in any way, shape, or form. But you're always gonna have sort of that forward movement and the flippies in the back on this. Now there's permatease on this, so you'll find a lot of permatease actually there on the top and back and nape. So this, this style has a lot of permatease, lots of longer layers on the top here. So do lots with it. They really respond nicely to finger styling. So that's been a look at Charisma in the color apricot. So now I'm going to show you, uh, I think my second, second favorite style out of that Henry Margu line that I think has an amazing value. And this is seduction. I have seduction in two colors to show you today. This first color is honey. Now honey is one of those beautiful blondes that's gonna go neutral to warm. Um, it's really a dark, warm honey. And then it's highlighted with a wheat, a light wheat blonde or beigey kind of of looking blonde so I don't feel like it's too gold it's very soft pale or light blonde and it is not rooted so all in all it's around 12 inches in length and right around in the front is around seven and a quarter so that's gonna stretch a little below my chin the best part about this is that it has an amazing gorgeous lace front so let's take a look. A really nice lace front with fine knots, temple to temple there. Very realistic, it's, it's soft, it blends into the skin tone, and it just feels really nice. and gives a nice realistic touch from the front. 
Now it is then open top, sides and back. There's a lot of permatees on seduction. So um, here's a lighter color. And I sprung that part just a little bit just to cover up some of that permatees with the fiber. But this is a pale blonde and it doesn't look too bad at the hairline. So this is seduction in the color nutmeg. Beautiful, beautiful color. It has just enough blonde to satisfy that blonde, but it has lots of brown and auburn in there as well. Just an impeccable lace front, extended lace front. This retails right around $130 as of the date of this filming. Prices are subject to change, of course. But what an amazing value. Think of styles like uh, Jackson by Noriko, um, Avery. They cost every bit as that, of that much, but they don't have a lace front. This one has a gorgeous lace front for the money. It's an absolutely beautiful value. Again, some permatees there on the top. Very easy to kind of spring those fibers up. But just the fiber just reacts so beautifully. Awesome. So I'm back wearing this style called Heartthrob. It's in the color Creamsicle. Now, when we, I went back to see this color. Um, I bought this about a year ago or so. Um, never wore it. And I went back to look at this color and I didn't see it anywhere uh, on the main attraction line. So my, own, my guess is that they probably pulled this color from the line for whatever reason, but it's beautiful. So it's your me, kind of a medium coppery auburn and then it has some butterscotch, light butterscotch blonde highlighting. It's the tag, I have not worn it. And this is actually the first time that it's been out of the box. It's absolutely gorgeous right out of the box, right? So it's your, your, your mid to long length, kind of a flippy, wavy style. It's kind of smooth at the crown until you get about halfway down. It has about a 6.75 inch front. I've got a part of just left of center and it moves beautifully back into the style. Such a feminine beautiful feminine style and it's priced right in there with the rest right around 125 dollars so just easy to see this beautiful value now in terms of permatees this one is meant to be a little more smooth on the crown so it just has a thin layer of permatees on the top and then most of your permatees will happen at the back and at the um, at the nape on this one but it's just, it's just beautifully done. I don't feel like it's overdone at all. What a value this is for an everyday style. You can have this length and not worry constantly about you know, all the different kinds of friction that is happening to it because it's e more easily replaced uh, than something a lot more expensive. This is just a basic cap, and uh, everything is covered up very nicely here. This is a good one to have a basic cap on, just because of the, the lines and things of the style. It really does a great job um, in terms of coverage. It's lightweight, would look beautiful. I always love putting it in a pony, putting a style like this in a pony think um, like John Renault's Minka. There's a lot of different styles that could be, this could be used as a sister style for if you just wanted something that um, you can wear every day and not worry. So here's the last one of the day that I'm going to show you. And for those of you that love a longer piece, you're going to love the value on this one. Let me just give you that warning. It is beautiful. So this is Enchantress in the color Butternut. So Enchantress is that beautifully glamorous, long style, straight with a little bit of wave at the ends, very flattering and feminine. 
right around 10.75 inches here on the front and then overall right around 18. Look at the gorgeous silhouette on this. So romantic. So do you like what you see so far? You're gonna love this. So Enchantress has a temple to temple lace front and a mono part on the left. Where can you get that for $135? That is the current retail price on this style as the date of this filming. But look at this. Fine knots, mono part, all those beautiful realistic features. But not only that, the whole package soft silky fine fiber now this one um, has a little more density than the others probably because it has a little less layering uh, has that same beautiful silky fiber in terms of permatease it has very little on the top so you can already see that it's more of a flatter top and you really don't get into any permatease until the back and nape and even at that it's very reasonable very just just very average type of permatease So there you go, that's been a look at 11 styles by Main Attraction in my value series. And again, I selected these styles for my value series because of the wonderful price point and the high quality features. You get a lot of bang for your buck in this line. There's a couple that I have not had the chance to review yet but I was happy to be able to provide this showcase. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks for joining me for this big, long video presentation. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.